lo-fi goes the, the, the emphasis is not on lo-fi it's uh actually on that it's the suspension of disbelief like the minute i feel like i can get lost in an idea that's enough and then if you can get list listeners to accept like oh wow morrissey's not a really great singer i love this smith song then once you buy that it's like theater so you can sit back and enjoy it which is different than like trying to go for like some super polished thing. It's like the hives, you know, they got this sound. It's kind of like Nirvana. It's like whatever, you know, it's completely canned. You know what I mean? They're all dressed exactly the same or whatever. You can like you 2 or not like you 2 but the minute you hear that a song come on, you've never heard it before. You're like, that's got to be you 2 It doesn't matter if Coldplay or somebody else is like copying Raid at Radiohead. You only kind of know in its blandness, like. Play. Besides, they're like great for business or whatever. People enjoy it. Who cares? But you know, you kind of know immediately by their blandness that that's them. And then when you hear Radiohead, you're like, oh, well, that's that other whining guy. You know, Jack and Meg White. That's not their last names. Do you know what I mean? It's not like we're gonna approach this thing this way. We're gonna both wear. I'll wear a red top and you wear white pants. You know. And you wear red pants and a white top. Completely canned. My grasp of what it is I do, it's really art. It just has very little to do with screwing girls or getting, getting sniffs, you know, getting get invited to parties and stuff. It has nothing to do with that. I sacrificed my whole 20s sitting in a studio, not screwing girls. Not spending money on Porsches and buying Mellotrons and 60s guitars, not to look cool. And I thought, you know, like from the first songs, we put out songs on every record that I made up the first day we ever started playing together. Is it for you or is it for? It's both. It's like imagine, like as an art and as an artist interacting with the medium. It's like a magic machine that I could take bad feelings and start talking about them and leave it vague in my own way and all of a sudden people just get enjoyment out of it. They don't have to know the circumstances, whether my girlfriend left me or, you know, I've been a jerk, you know. You flip it around, it's like a magic machine, it's art. You just like do something and then it either speaks to you or it doesn't. We're sorry about pauses, uh, 
the British Airways lost all of our guitars. So we're using loaners and we don't have spares. So from, from time to time, we have to correct this. Break them. Yeah, me too. 